All right, welcome back, everybody. We are playing more Devil Boats uh, by Joe Carter from Compass Games. And um, we are getting ready for our fourth mission, which is July 4th. And we are going to start rolling. Crewman malaria check. Seven. No malaria. Weather check. Two. Good weather. Nightly mission assignment, one, offensive patrol, zone, two, I actually started rolling all this and my headphones decided to cut out on me, very nice, so uh, hopefully we make it through this video. Uh, PT boats assigned to the mission, we have four of them. Uh, three is still out, but reserve will come in and take her place. IGN air attacks on the PT boat base. One, there'll be none. Sea state in zone one. Ten. Will be three. Random event. Twenty-four will be nothing. IGN air, air uh, patrol contact. Sorry about that. Nine, eight, nine, no air contact. Move to zone two. We check for C state. Six, B2. Random event, 61, none. IGN air patrol contact, nine, eight, for green zone, nine for good weather. Move to zone one, yellow. C state eight will be three. Random event will be 60. IGN air patrol will be 10. Yep, that you knew that was coming. Oh, we were just flirting with it the whole way. Um, and that's all right. I'm okay with that. Let's see who we got here. We go to B1. Roll 1, die 10. We get an Aichi AE13. And then once again, I do believe I forgot to... Yep, rename that. Um, roll 1, die 10 to determine the crew skill. Ten, of course it is. That would be an elite crew. Wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, bombers, bombs are strafe. That'll be eight. That'll be a strafing attack. And we are at medium range. Defensive spotting. We roll a three. I don't think that's going to be good enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, because we have an eagle eye. Not a good enough. He's going to get a free shot at us. Um, strafe attack. Once for each PT boat. We are at medium speed. They're elite, so they're going to get plus two. So they need a uh, eight, nine, or ten. PT1, 6, misses. PT2, 8, hits. That sucks. Roll 1d10 to determine type of PT boat damage sustained. 7. Systems damage, 1 point. Alright, and then uh, PT boat number 3. Misses PT boat number four. Hits. Damn it. Uh, all right. And we roll a D10 for that one. Four. Superficial. So we can deal with that. Don't get all excited, Greg. Um, and actually, i got to get rid of both of those. I forgot to do that last time. We earned them on uh, random events. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. They are not in there. Get rid of that.
Get rid of that. We didn't earn that. That was off the old one. Boy, I'm horrible about putting the pieces out. Okay. We do have the eagle eye. That one's in there. Um, superficial for boat four. Okay, um, does he drop a star shell? Four or five, because he's elite. No, he does not. And that's the end of him. And we will continue on with our mission to zone two. Sea state will be three. Random event will be 39, none. Air patrol contact will be 10, <laughs> 10 again. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to roll D10. This time we see a Mitsubishi G4M. It's a medium aircraft, very hard to shoot down. Especially if we don't see them, which we've had a bad habit of doing lately. Skill level. Oh, of course. We wouldn't have that any other way. And elite. And he's going to come at us with a strafe. At least it's a strafe. Bombs suck. Defensive spotting. We roll a nine. So we will see them. Um, defensive fire. We're going to roll four times. We'll just go left to right. I actually could do this random. PT-3 will fire first. And uh, the aircraft crew is elite, so that's minus two. Yes, we are going fast before I forget it. Going fast, which is minus three. So minus three, do we need 10? So uh, PT3 is gonna fire four times, looking for tens and misses. Next up, PT2, four times for tens, misses. PT4, four times for 10, one hit, possible hit. Four is actually a hit, one point of damage, but it's gonna take a lot more now to bring them down. And um, one more. 49 misses, and that leaves PT-1 to fire last. And again, we are four chances for 10, and we miss. Fortunately, we spotted him and hit him. So that's going to make things difficult for him to get us. Uh, strafing attack, successfully spotted and hit, minus 2. We're fast, minus 3. Uh, sorry about that. Minus four for being spotted. They're elite, so that's minus two. So they're going to need a two to get us. I mean, not a two. Minus two. They're going to need a ten to get us. So we roll die for each one. One misses. Two misses. Three misses. Four misses. Does he drop a star shell? No, he does not. And, um, hold on, maybe he does. G4M. Yes, plus one, plus one for being elite. That was a, um, four. That goes to six. So, yes, he drops the star shell. I think I actually need to put a uh, star shell marker on the plane. So, that's just easy to drop that. And so, we start at the beginning again. 
Now uh, they are already spotted, so we get the fire again. PT3. Again, three shots for four shots for ten. Two ones miss. And there's a hit. Possible hit. Nope. Uh, super, uh, superficial. PT1 gets the fire. Uh, looking for ten. Bow gun, six. AA1, two. AA2, three. Stern, ten. Miss. I mean, superficial. Um. But at least we're getting the modifiers. PT2 fires. Four shots for 10. Two and an eight. And a, nine, a 10 and a nine. Six. That is actually a hit. Ah, damn it. I was rolling a D, D, oh, D6. Three. Superficial. Doesn't get it. And I did the same thing earlier. And that's my fault. And we're going to miss that. So... Um, PT4 gets the last draw, 2 and a 1, 8 and a 10, 6, 1 damage point, and uh, he gets to do a strafe attack, so he could be looking at 10s again, 5 for 1, misses for 2, 3 misses for 3, 10 hits. A, B, C, D. Uh, that's PT2. We need to roll a D10. 2. Superficial. That was 3. Losing track already. I need to start getting better about targeting so I don't lose track of things like that. Superficial for three and four misses. All right. Does he drop another star shell? Three. No, he does not. So he will take off. And we go to star. Oh, we already did star shell. So we go back to the main tables. And we continue on into. Oh, shit. I forgot the all important. And I do this too many times PT boat separation. Um, and I should have done that twice. So weather's good, minus one. Um, PT boat is fast, plus one. So we needed to roll for each one a ten. Two, one, fine. Two, fine. Three, fine. Four, fine. Now for the second round. One, fine. Two, fine. Three, fine. Four, fine. Whew. Uh, I keep forgetting that on the air attacks. That's what usually kills me more than anything is the separation roll. I get separation anxiety. Um, so we now move into red zone 2. We check for the C state. 6 will be 3. Oh, not 3, 2. Random event. 92, none. IG and Air Patrol contact, 9, 10, 11, 12, we will have an Air Patrol contact, go to B1, 8, that's going to hurt, because that's the big boy, nope, another G4M, they're still bad though, they're hard to, really hard to shoot down. And they get that modifier for the star shell. Crew, nine, of course. We wouldn't have that any other way. At least that's only veteran this time. And he's coming after us with six. Strafe. That's, I can deal with that. Um, defensive spotting. Plus one. Plus five. Plus six. 
nine. You gotta be freaking kidding me. A plus six modifier and I can't see him. That wipes out that. So he's gonna come straight in. Veteran plus one, plus two for being a G4M. So uh, he needs uh, eight or nine or ten. Gone against one, misses. Two, misses. Three, misses. Four, hits. And um, we roll one die ten to determine that. That'll be a nine. Ouch. Flooding damage one point on four. Star shell. One. No star shell. Separation. Hey, we remembered. Minus one. Minus one. So it doesn't say anything about a 10 automatically. So we're not going to be able to roll for any separation because uh, we weren't fast. So we just kind of managed to stay in there. We don't have to roll that one. That's my understanding of it. So there we go. We are through. That goes next to IGN Convoy Contact. One, that's not going to happen. Shore Gun, that's uh, once per turn in red zones on strategic map. If uh, offensive patrol, good or poor weather only. So yeah, we're fine. So we roll here. Two, nothing. All right, so that was our first turn in the offensive zone. We're going to spend another turn in the offensive zone. See if the C state changed. It went to three. Random event, 57, none. Air patrol contact, one, none. Convoy contact, nine. Nine does not get it. IGN sure or machine gun nest. Nine. That will get it. Possible contact with guns. B, C, and D. If on an offensive patrol mission, go to table C1. If on a special mission, etc. So, um, go to C1. Roll one tie I tend to determine... Number of enemy machine guns, seven. That'll be three MG nests. I don't mind MGs. They really don't hurt too much. Let's get these over here. Maybe run that down. No, that's too freaking small. All right. How about we center it? Get that over there. Like, there we go. That's better. Three MG nests. Going to start laying odds on how many of these are going to be experts. Um, roll one d10 to determine shore guns. Six, two shore guns. Very nice. This is going to be a tough one. At least we're getting contact. Yeah, let's see how much we like that after this next roll. Wow, uh, we're going to determine the. Uh, uh, skill of each one we were by rolling a d10 um, mg1 seven average mg2 two green mg3 three green yeah let's do that on the shore guns too please shore gun one two green and shore gun two ten elite 
I hope like hell he's the first one we target. Well, it will be the first one we target, but um, if weather is good, PT2 Squadron starts out in the long. Why am I saying we were poor weather? I don't know what I was saying. We were uh, long range. Um, guard us are always medium from the first combat range because we were surprised by the enemy guns. And then we go to PT uh, Boat Squadron Range Zone Movement. Um, I'm going to stay at long on this one. We're moving around, but we're going to stay at long. It doesn't say you have to stay in there. You can, you can stay in this, in the zone you're in. We're going to stay at long range. Um, target, uh. Because we're surprised by them, I'm going to hold off doing the random draw until the second round. Because we were surprised by them. So it will make sense to have them um, go first. You know what? So how about maybe we just do this. Uh, MG1. MG2. MG3, SG1, SG3, SG2. And um, we'll let them shoot randomly, but then we will um, not fire until they're done. Um, target selection for MG2. It's going after us. And he will be uh, long minus three for long range. Gun crew is green minus one, so that's minus four. C state is three, not two, minus four. So uh, world once for each empty nest. Needs a, needs a 10. 9 misses. Next up, SG2. He's going to target 1. Of course. And he's elite, so he gets the fire 2 times. Long range, minus 3. C state is three, so we don't have to worry about that. And he is elite, so it goes um, up to minus one. So my, it's still a ten. Two two shots. Looking for not looking for tens. Four misses. Five misses. Next up, MG three. He's gonna need tens too. One shot. Boom. Six misses, and he went after two. Uh, next up. MG1 will go after 4. 1D10 for a hit. Misses. Next up, Shore Gun 1. He's green. He's going to need 10, and he is targeting 2. 2 one shot. 5 misses. Now we can go. Um, PT3. PT3, they will fire at um, shore guns, two shore guns present, one to three, three and four to six. So he's gone for sure. Of course he is. He's gone for sure one. The greeny. Um, minus three. Uh, 
So we need tens. Four shots for ten. Missing first two. Gets one possible hit. One miss. Next up. PT4. He's firing. He's going to go after, ah, good, the elite one. He needs four shots for ten. Gets a zero and a nine again. And four, yes, that's a hit. The sure gun two gets a hit. He's the important one. We want him out of there. Sure gun two, one hit. And one more pair of rolls, one and a one, nothing there. PT number two fires next. He's going to target same one. Again, four shots for ten. Eight and a six misses. Seven and a ten. And six, that's a hit. Sure gun two is gone. Very nice. Sure gun two is gone. We will come to this and we will put... Sure gun. And I forgot to put down that that wasn't an elite. We'll have to remember that. Okay, now. Get him out of there. Him out of there, and last but not least, sure gun one, and he has no choice but to go after. I mean, PT one he has no choice but to go after that sure gun. Four shots for ten. Bow gun six misses. AA one eight misses. AA two four misses. Stern gun two misses, and we begin the uh, sure gun assistance request. One D ten, three no enemy aircraft. Everybody's in close range to check for collision. And to come back, go to the next round. Range zone movement. We're going to speed up the fast. We're actually going to move into... hard time. We're going to move in the medium range on this one. Um, PT boat squadron detection. We already are detected. And MG nests. Um, actually, we're not doing that yet. We are going to the random draw because we're no longer surprised. MG2 will fire first. He will be targeting three. We will double check now to make sure the because uh, we moved in the medium. We are now fast minus one. C state still three. They're green. That's minus two. All right, minus two means he needs a 10. So, boom, five misses. PT-1 gets the fire. We're going for a green shore gun. Um, got no choice but to go for the shore guns first because they're more dangerous, in case you're wondering. PT boat no, number one firing um, minus one. So we need tens. Uh, bow, four misses. AA, one, ten. Superficial, AA, two misses. And bow, stern misses. Next up, MG3. MG3 is going to fire at two. I'm going to pause. I can hear my wife coming. 
All right. Um, MG2 firing at PT2, and that is needs a 10, and he misses. Next up is PT4, and he goes to fire at, he has to fire at the shore gun. Until the shore guns are destroyed, we need to fire at the shore guns. Um, that's by the rules. PT4 needs 10s. First two shots, three and a three misses. Second two shots, two and an eight misses. Next up is MG1. MG1, I think it still needs 10. Um, we're fast. Nobody's disabled. Anything's nothing's disabled. So yes, they still need 10s. It's one die roll. And he is targeting... Four. And he rolls a nine. That's a miss. Next up is PT2. Come on, guys. Let's get this short gun out of there. PT2 needs tens. Firing four times. Two and an eight misses. Eight and a ten misses. Damn it. All right. Next up. Short gun one. He gets the fire. That's, at least he's green. Only fires once. He will be targeting us. He needs a 10, 6, misses, and PT3 fires. He's going to target the shore gun. Four shots for 10. There's one right there. Oh, that's a hit. Good. Shore gun 1 takes a hit, and one more set of shots. Ooh. Ah, so close. Um, so another round will be in effect. Shore gun assistance request. Two, no enemy aircraft, nobody's in close range, and a combat round, we go to firing again. So let's put all these back in the random draw. And um, we're going to stay at fast and just keep flying around medium range here. Might as well make them earn it too. First the fire, PT-4. Going to fire the shore gun. Needs tens. Four and a five misses. One and a nine misses. Second to fire. Shore gun one. He's going to target two. Needs a ten. Misses. PT one firing next at the shore gun. Needs tens. Bow gun five. Misses AA one. One misses jams. Jams for the rest of the combat. So AA1. All right. And um, AA2. Eight misses and stern misses. MG3. Needs 10. He's going to target up four. No, come on, Greg. D10, D2, D4. Uh, PT2, he needed a 10. 9, close, but no cigar. Misses. Um, MG2, another green. He needs a 10. He's targeting 2, 4. Somebody's going to get lucky here. That's why I stay at medium range. Um, we may only get 10 chan chances at 10. 10% chance to hit, excuse me, but they get the same. So I'd rather go fast. We have more firepower on them, and maybe we can take them out before they get us. PT-2. We'll target uh, our infamous sure gun. One out of five misses. Six and a ten. Duh, miss. PT-3. Again, he's firing at him. Four chances for ten. Four and a nine misses. Two and a three misses. MG1. And he will be targeting one. And he needs a ten. Two misses. Put them back in there. We roll for sure gun request, uh, assistance request. One, no enemy aircraft. We're buying time, but barely. And we go back into the combat. 
first to fire, MG2. He's going to go after us. He needs a 10. And he gets a 10. So if we're hit by the short gun, you know, by uh, PT Ness, go to table G1. We roll one die 10 for each hit. Six, midsection top deck cockpit. That's always scary. Roll a D10. Nine, superficial. All right, next up, MG3. Needs a 10. He's going to target 3. 4. He misses. Next up, SG1. He's going to target us. Needs a 10. 7 misses. PT3. PT3's targeting the sure gun. 4 shots for 10. 8 and a 7 misses. 9 and a 9 misses. Next up. MG1, he's going to target 4, needs a 10, gets it, damn. One, one, one die 10, 1, superficial, that's on 4. Good thing we're going to have a day off, because we're probably going to need it after this. We're not shooting well, and they're getting the tens now. PT-4 will be targeting shore gun. He needs four tens. Three and a four misses. Seven and a four misses. PT-1. We're going to fire all but the um, AA ones. We need ten. Bow gun. Four misses. AA-2. Four misses and stern, one jams, and jam. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <sighs> my dice kill me. My dice kill me. All right, PT two, firing on a shore gun needs ten. Six and a five misses, nine and an eight misses, and here we go again. They're going to get a, they're going to get the uh, assistance somewhere on the line too. This just can't keep going on. We roll one again. No enemy aircraft. Thought I jinxed myself for, really for that one. First to fire PT one. We have now two guns. Bow gun and AA2. Bow gun first, eight misses, AA2, one jams, and we unjam it. Good lord. Um, next up, PT4, firing on the shore gun, needs 10. Two and a five misses, one and a four misses. Next up, MG1, he will be firing on three. He needs a 10, five misses. PT-2, targeting the shore guns. First two shots, six and nine misses, ten and a six, two missed. Damn it. Uh, our superior firepower ain't shit. SG-1 fires. He will be targeting three. Needs a ten, eight misses. PT-3, targeting the short gun. A little retaliate, retaliation. Needs 10. 5 and a 6 misses. 7 and a 1 misses. MG-3. Going to be targeting 4. Needs a 10. Gets a 10. Of course they do. And um, roll 1 die 10 for damage. 7. That'll be a systems damage for 4. And um, the last but not least will be MG2. We're letting them hang on way too freaking long here. One, and he needs a 10. And gets it. Hello. Where, there's all them 10s that I have not been able to roll. 
two, if we go to G1, we roll area damage of four, midsection top deck, 1D10, four, radio antenna, disabled. And uh, radio inoperable for the remainder of the mission. I think there's a damage marker for that. Yeah, radio out. We'll put that down there just to remind us. All right, all these go back into there we roll again for air contact five there will be none and um, shotgun assistance request oh, that was the five doesn't matter we didn't get it on that roll either uh, no collisions um, we go back around to the beginning we're going to stay at medium range. I do not want to get into close range and risk being um, hit nickel the reef. Uh, so we're just going to sit out here and sling tens and hope we get some better freaking dice rolls. Um, first shot goes to MG2. He targets four, needs a 10, barely, almost. Come on. And next up. MG1, going to fire, he needs, uh, he's firing a 2, needs a 10, 2 misses, MG3, nice, he needs a 10, he's firing a 2, fires 2, misses, PT1 with our two guns, are targeting the uh, shore gun, um, that is the Bow gun and AA2. Bow gun gets a 6. AA2 gets a 5. Both miss. Shore gun 1. We're letting him hang in there way too long. Targets 3. 1 misses. PT4 targets the shore gun. 4 shots for 10. 9 and 6, 2 and a 7. PT3, same thing. 6 and a 3. 3 and a 3. Boy, we suck. PT2, come on, redemption here, buddy. Uh, 10 and a 5, but we roll a 2. Good Lord. And a 2 and a 1 misses. So our lack of um, quality... Uh, Firing is really, really hurting us here. We should have had these guys gone a long time ago. Um, God, I'm half tempted to slow down. Let's do that. Oh, let's roll for air first. Sure gun assistance request, five, none. We're going to slow down to medium. We are going to start the rounds. PT4 will fire first. Let's see what the new um, modifiers are. Um, doesn't matter. We're just, just still 10. I should have just stayed it fast. Knowing what I know, yes, we'll, we'll stay at fast, because I'm sure that'll help them out if we don't. We will stay at fast, knowing what I know. Um, so he needs four shots for ten. Six and an eight, four and a seven. MG3. Targeting three. Gets a ten. They're getting all the freaking tens. This is discouraging uh, one die ten three superficial that's one three uh, 
PT-1 with our whole two guns, bow gun, misses, uh, AA-2, misses, PT-3, four shots for 10, and again, we're targeting, I'm getting confused there, but we're targeting the sure gun, we have to. Uh, one and a zero, which is 10, and a five, yes, sure gun one finally bites the big one. We can mark off another shore gun down. All right, now, next up, shore gun one, return him because he is out of there. Uh, MG one will target us, needs a 10, does not get it. PT two will target. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be three. And he needs ten. Four shots. Three and a six. Three and a four. All miss. MG2 is going after three. And he gets a ten. You Oh God, you're kidding me. Six. Systems damage to three. <sighs> End air. Six. No air. Return all these to the random. We're taking these damn things out. We need the points. And we got a day off coming anyway. We're just going to hang in there. First up, MG1. Our luck has got to change. He's going to go after two famous last words, I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're kidding me. Oh, Lord. Ah, this is disgusting. D10. Nine. Of course it is. Flooding damage. One point on two. Next up, MG2 needs a 10. Firing on 4. He gets a 1. He misses. PT4. He'll be going after 3. Need a 10. Oh, we got two of them right there. One of these is a 4, 5, or 6, and we got him out of there. We got him out of there. MG3 is destroyed. We're still already in our, this is our second turn in the offensive zone, too. We could stick around if we want to, but with all this damage starting to accumulate, probably not. Um, MG3 is out of there. Brings up uh, PT3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 now. Goes after 1. Good. Um, he needs 4s. Six and a three. One and a six. All miss. PT-1 with her two awesome guns. Um, I think we're allowed to go after whoever to, whomever the hell we want. And we will go after that same one. And we need uh, bow gun. Four misses. Uh, AA-2. Seven misses. PT-2, going after the greenie, he needs 10s, 7 and a 9, 7 and a 1, MG-3 is out of there, and we are now looking at aircraft 7, there will be no uh, sure gun assistance, and we once again go back to rolling. PT-1 with her two awesome guns. We'll go after him. Uh, Bow. Four misses. AA-2 misses. PT-3 goes after the greenie. Four shots for 10. He gets a 10 and a 4. That's He's gone. 
Now we're starting to whittle away at them. All right, next up, MG1. And he will target two. Needs a 10, does not get it. PT2, going to return to favor. Five and a four misses. Two and a one misses. PT4. Seven and an eight. Four and a seven, all miss. And MG2 returns to the deck. Aircraft assistance, six. We're getting lucky. Return to random. Um, God, I don't want to risk that reef collision. I just, I'd rather stay where I am and keep rolling for tens than risk that reef collision. That can be devastating. We're going to stay out here and hang around. Um, for him, let's go down to slow. I think we're safe going to slow now. All right, so first up will be PT-1 with our two awesome guns. We are slow, so we're going to add one. So we now need a 9 or a 10 to hit. Uh, bow gun misses. AA2 misses. MG1 gets the fire. I was hoping we'd all be able to fire before him. He's going to target us, of course. That's all right. They don't hurt too bad when they hit, but they still hurt. Um, they get a 9 or a 10. Two misses. Good. PT4. Four hits for again he's gonna be looking for nine three seven two nine miss pt2 looking for nines six and a six five and a three pt3 six and a ten four hits mg nest gone put that on our sheet Forgot to put the other one. That's three MG nests and two shore guns. And uh, they could no longer alive to call for shore gun assistance, but we'll roll for it anyway because they could have called during the turn. One, no deal. Nobody's in close range. End of combat. We're getting out of there. Um... Let's stay in this damn zone. We've taken some damage, but we're not. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? But let's um, let's spend round three in the combat zone. Let's see if we can get some barges. I've not gotten any barges yet. Um, so we're going to roll for a sea state again. And six will give us a sea state of two. Random event will give us 36 nothing. Air patrol contact 6 will be nothing. Convoy contact 10. That is automatically. <clears throat> um, determining type of convoy 1 to 9 will be a barge. 9 it is. Barge convoy. And actually, we can go in there and reset that out. Barge convoy. A, B, A, D, and E. Goes to B. Table D1, D, E. May choose to avoid combat if combat is not desired. I am desiring it. So let's go to D. I know I'm crazy, but um, we did unjam our guns. They do um, unjam after the combat. So we have that going for us. Uh, and let's see what we got here. 
IGN barge convoy size type and crew level. Roll one die ten. Two. Small convoy, one wave. Um, for each wave, roll one die ten to determine number of barges in that wave. Wave uh, one, which is the only one we have, is two. One barge. Glad I stuck around. That will cut it. Barge one, wave one, will be a two gives us type A, type super A. All right, let's get this. Get a combat round. Good weather puts us at long range. Get a barge one. Put him in there. Let's get a barge super A. And um, put no detection down here. I think we're not detected. It's not like we got surprised. Starts out in long range uh, for each barge wave, uh, whether it's poor or medium. Um, regardless of starting range, PTV boat idle speed is not possible in the first round of combat. Now we go down to uh, range zone movement. I'm going to stay at medium right now. Um, I don't know how much a barge can screw us up. You know what? No guts, no glory. Let's go to medium range, medium speed. See if we can't uh, get this going. Uh, one die ten until we're detected, because right now we are not detected. Um, medium range zone plus one plus two for one barge weather is good plus three plus four seven PT squadron detected A, B and go to D3 um, we remain detected for the rest of the convoy I mean, rest of the current barge convoy waves. Um, go to D3. This is where we start doing the random. First up will be PT4. Barge selection. Well, he doesn't have much of a choice. PT4 is target and barge A. Uh, firing four times for PT2 and 4. Um, oh, I did forget that. Got all excited and forgot the crew. Eight. Veteran. Ouch. Better than elite. Um, okay, so now we go to PT4. Now, barge crew is elite. No. Barge crew is veteran. Minus one. We're going to go back up to fast, though. Um, C state is three, two. That's going to be minus, uh, plus one. So zero. So zero and modify. It's always a ten. So we might as well just go back to fast after this. Um, four shots for ten. Uh, bow. Misses. AA1. Misses. AA2. Misses. Stern misses. Oh, that was PT4. Doesn't matter. Um, PT3. Four shots for ten. All miss. PT1. Bow. Misses. 
AA1 misses, AA2 misses, Stern misses, PT2, four shots for 10. There's one right there. Barge hit, ABC. One day, 10 to determine type of damage, barge sustained. One, superficial. Don't think that makes a difference then. No. Okay. Um, and then the second two dice, seven and eight misses, which means he gets to fire us up. Uh, barge target selection, one coming after us. Maybe I didn't want this. I thought for sure, four boats, medium range, I'd put a couple hits on them. We didn't do shit. Um, sea status two, plus one, cruise veteran, plus two. Yeah. Once for each barred target a PTO boat, so he needs an eight or more, and he gets a six. That's a miss. Thank goodness. Return to random draw. Barge assistance request. One die ten. Nope, ten. Greg seven. Nothing going. Um, end of combat round of evasion, IGN barges, um, roll one die 10 for each IGN barge. The barge is a veteran. Minus one. Plus two is plus one. That's our radio that's out. Okay, so uh, plus one. We roll a d10. One, two. Unable to evade. Barge remains in the area. Next combat round. Go down to PT boat. Close range. Nothing. And end of combat. Nope, we're going to go into a... Um, another round. Going to go fast. Going to stay at medium range. Going to start firing. First up, PT3. Targeting the barge. <clears throat> and, um... That should be zero, oh, 10 again, I believe. Um, barge crew veteran, minus one, fast, minus one. Yes, yeah, so that only helps us to go fast. So we're going to stay fast now. And um, we're looking for tens, four shots for 10. Eight, nine, seven, 10. Possible hit. Five, superficial. All right, uh, next up, PT2, four shots for 10, eight and eight, eight and seven, PT4, nine and one, seven and nine, boy, we suck, B1, barge one, he's going after four, and he needs now, boat is fast, minus one. C state of two is plus one. That's zero. Crew is Vardar and plus one. So he needs a nine or a ten. Ten. Son of a bitch. Um, equals one shell. Okay, so that's a super A. One shell hit. Two to four, roll 1D, 10 to determine type of PT damage uh, sustained. Nine, of course, flooding damage on four. And you wanted it, Greg, you got it. 
and um, that's it. Not horrible. PT one needs ten. Foul gun misses. AA one misses. AA two misses. Stern gun misses. Oh boy, we suck. Ah, undo. I didn't want that. I want that. Um, barge assistance roll one, nothing going. And no combat evasion. Barge is a uh, veteran. Good weather minus one. The barge has sustained no damage. Um, plus one. 1d10, 8, 9, barge successfully evades. So I think at that point, we're going to just say let's go home. Because um, we are not doing very well. Um, shooting wise, anyway. And we do have some good XP to deal with, VP to deal with. So let's, um, let's. That was round three anyway. If we get the hell out of here. Go to zone yellow two. C state seven. Going to stay at two. Going to roll for random event. 93 nothing. Air patrol contact. Ten, of course. So, let's go to B1. We roll a five, which is a Nakajima A6M2. And we're going to have a skill level of six, average crew. And he's coming after us with bombs. So this one here, we need to watch. We don't know if we're fast yet or not. Um, defensive spotting. Weather is poor or bad. No. Radio is disabled minus two. Um, he's an A6M2. So we're still at minus two. We go up to plus two, plus three. And we roll a ten, so we spotted him. Good. Defensive fire. A, um, PT boats disabled, nope, aircraft crews elite, nope, uh, we are, yes, we are going fast. Minus one. Plus one is zero. So we need tens, bow gun, miss, AA one, misses, AA two, misses, jams. Unjammed, stern gun, six misses. Um, PT boat two, four hits for ten, chances for ten. Eh, it might be better than that because that was, um, no, nope, still ten. I was thinking the radio was in there, but that was in spotting. Uh, one and a one misses, five and a five misses. PT boat three. Two and a nine misses, one and a five misses, PT boat four, two and an eight misses, ten and an eight. Four, superficial, damn it, misses. Um, so he's going to come in now and do a bomb attack. Uh, minus two, spotted and hit. Minus three, minus four, plus one is a minus three. So they need a 10 to hit. We're going to roll once for each PT boat. One misses, two misses, barely. Three misses, four misses, barely. Does he drop a star shell? No, he does not drop a star shell and he will disappear. 
PT boat separation. Weather is good, minus one. Radio operator is veteran, and both radar and such are functional. No, we don't get that, so just still minus one. We're fast, so that's going to be zero. So we do roll this time. Um, PT boat one, that's us. Um, we're going to have a plus two modifier because our radio is disabled. So we need, we roll a one, we're fine. PT2 needs a um, 10, to, I mean, it doesn't, anything but 10 for the rest of them. Two is four, is fine. Three, 10 is separated. Got a roll for separation on A. And um, we have one, two, three boxes back. 72, he's going to be just fine. Yeah, 72, he's going to be just fine. He returns to base. And four. He rolls a six. He's fine. We move into uh, the next zone. C state in the zone is 10. Going to go to three. Random event. 40, nothing. Air patrol contact. Two, nothing. Go to zone two. C state, three. Going to go down to one. Random event 11, or 17 rather, nothing. Um, air patrol contact 9, don't think so. Plus 1, minus 1, 9 doesn't cut it. Move to zone 1. See state of 1. Random event 29, and aircraft patrol contact 9, nothing. So we get home safely. Now, we look at PT boat repair times. For us, we lost radio antenna, and we had um, one superficial hit. So radio antenna. Radio antenna is 15, 16, 17. We will be just fine. Um... Two to four. PT3 has 40 damage. Uh, PT2 has 40, 50, 60. 60 damage. It's going to take them two days. So they will be out until the 6th. Actually, that's four, five, and six, so he will be back on the seventh. We can use him. All right. Um, next up, getting getting button happy here. Uh, PT3 is 40 for system. And he had two of these, uh, 42. So he's just one day, or less than a day. He'll be fine the next day. One full day of repairs. So actually, see, I keep doing that wrong. We will get him back on the 6th. Each over 50 requires one full day of repair. So he will have to be repaired on the 5th. We get him back on the 6th. Which is basically going to not hurt us at all. Because we're going to have to rest on the 5th. Um, next up is. And I keep doing that. 4. And he has 80. 104, so that's going to be two days, so he's got, he will have um, the seventh replacement date, so seven slash seven, so it's 1943, all right, victory points, the all-important, 
and I did that again. Um, we got the two shore guns. One was elite. So that's 25, and then we had three MG nests at five each. That's uh, th 30, 35, 40. We lost nobody, so we will get 40 VP for this mission. And we'll write down three MGs and two shore guns. All right, so we could have done better had we gotten that uh, Super A. That would have been 20 more points, but we'll take what we can get. That puts us at 220 right now. We don't have enough to get any medals or anything. Um, no special victory, no loss, so we're good on all that. And um, that's the end of the mission. You know what? Let's go ahead and do... Um, July 5th while we're here that's repairs no mission we'll go in and check our guys um, he is not available right now and he becomes available on the 5th so he will be available he becomes available on the 6th uh, 7th so he is unavailable so on the 5th when we're resting we have three available so on the 6th, when we come back, we will get our last boat back. So we're getting lucky. We're keeping four of them ready. So that's it. Thanks for joining me all. Um, that was PT Boats, or <laughs> Devil Boats, PT Boats and Solomon. Sorry about that. And um, we're rolling along. See you next time.